Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, I will discuss the nature of the roots of quadratic equations. As a recap, quadratic equations are second degree equations. The roots x sub 1 and x sub 2 are the values of the variable when solved using various methods like extraction of square root, factoring, completing the square or quadratic formula. Now, when solving using quadratic formula, the values of the roots are given by negative b plus and minus the square root of quantity b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Here, the expression b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant. The discriminant provides information regarding the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. When we say the nature of the roots, Basically, it tells whether the roots or the values of x in a quadratic equation are real numbers or imaginary. And also, if those are equal or not. Here, we use the numerical coefficients and constant, a, b, and c. Also, the discriminant formula. Now, if the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, the roots are real and unequal. As an example, determine the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. Here we first need to identify the values of a, b, and c. In the equation, a is equal to 1. That is the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term. b is equal to 3. That is the coefficient of the linear term. And c is the constant, which is equal to negative 10. Now, using the discriminant formula, b squared minus 4ac, we substitute the values of a, b, and c. That will be 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 10. The square of 3 is equal to 9. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Multiplying that by negative 10, the product is positive 40. Now, adding 9 and 40, the sum is 49. Now, since the value of the discriminant is greater than 0, we say that the roots are real and unequal. To verify this, let's try to solve the equation. Here, we may use factoring, completing the square or quadratic formula. For this example, I will use factoring since the equation is factorable and also I think that's easier given the equation. The factors of the left side are quantity x plus 5 and quantity x minus 2. Now, equating both these factors by 0, x plus 5 equals 0, and x minus 2 equals 0. Transpose the constant terms on the right side of the equation. x values now are negative 5 and positive 2. Clearly, these roots are both real numbers and they are unequal. This proves our earlier assumption that based on the value of the discriminant, the roots are real and unequal. Another characteristic of the nature of the roots, when the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, the roots are said to be real and equal. Like in the quadratic equation x squared plus 14x plus 49 equals 0. Identifying the values of a, b, and c, a is equal to 1, B is equal to 14, and C is equal to 49. Here we will substitute these values in the discriminant B squared minus 4AC. That is 14 squared minus 4 times 1 times 49. The square of 14 is 196. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Multiplying that by 49, the product is negative 196. Now, 196 minus 196 is equal to 0. Since the value of the discriminant is equal to 0, we say that the roots are real and equal. To verify this, let's try to solve the equation x squared plus 14x plus 49 equals 0. Observe that the expression on the left side is a perfect square trinomial. Its factors are quantity x plus 7 and quantity x plus 7. 
or simply the square of the binomial x plus 7. Equating the factors by 0, values of x are negative 7 and negative 7. Thus, it proves that when the value of the discriminant is 0, the roots are real and equal. The last characteristic of the nature of the roots, when the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, the roots are said to be imaginary and unequal. As an example, let's say you were asked to determine the nature of the roots of the equation 2x squared minus 4x plus 5 equals 0. Doing the previous procedure, we will identify first the values of a, b, and c. a here is equal to positive 2, b is equal to negative 4, c is equal to positive 5. Substituting these values in the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, that will be negative 4 squared minus 4 times 2 times 5. The square of negative 4 is positive 16. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Times 5 is negative 40. And 16 minus 40 is equal to negative 24. Thus, the roots are imaginary and unequal. To verify this, we will solve the quadratic equation using quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus and minus the square root of quantity b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Substitute the values of the numerical coefficients and constant in the formula. That will be negative of negative 4 plus and minus the square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times 2 times 5 all over 2 times 2. Negative of negative 4 is equal to positive 4. Then plus and minus the square root of negative 24. We already saw the radicand earlier. That is the discriminant. So the value is negative 24. Then all over 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Simplifying square root of negative 24. That is 2 times square root of negative 6. Or 2 square root of 6 i. Here we now have an imaginary value. Take note that i is equivalent to square root of negative 1. The roots now of the equation are 4 plus and minus 2 square root of 6i all over 4. Now when reduced to lowest terms, the values of x are 1 plus square root of 6i over 2 and 1 minus square root of 6i over 2. Hence, it proves that when the value of the discriminant is less than 0, the roots are imaginary and unequal. For additional information, we also say that the roots are rational when the discriminant value is a perfect square. If it is not, the roots are irrational. Thank you for watching. God bless.